Hi. <laughs> that's a good start. Right, so that's more than I was like hoped for. So, um, that's a fork. Okay, so uh, I'm from Poland and I'm a tourist and uh, I, I'm just passing by on a business trip and um, why I'm here, I'm gonna tell you. I, I have a tendency of, uh, well, first of all, it's gonna be different than what you guys do here, like comedy wise, uh, because I haven't prepared anything. Uh, I just thought about it a little bit, so sorry if it's not funny. But um, so why I'm here, I have a tendency of making rash decisions. Um, and five years ago, I went to an improv show. Do you guys do improv or go no, to do improv? Yeah. No. All right. No. <laughs> okay. So I went to an improv show. A friend invited me, and they were doing like stupid thing on stage and like engaging with the audience. And I was like, Oh my god, that's so fun! I'm never gonna do that. Uh, that was scary. And then my therapist said that uh, you have to step out of your comfort zone, girl. By the way, do you know how to tell a person that goes to a therapy from a person that doesn't? <laughs> They're gonna tell you about it, don't worry. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so I took improv classes for like three, and then my teacher was like, hey, I have this open mic, I go and try writing something, and I did. I was in Poland, in Warsaw, where I'm from. Um, so I did one open mic set, that's my second one. Um, and, and then I flew to New York, like after that. And I went to, to see a stand-up comedy show in the New York Comedy Club, and it was amazing. There were cool people, and it was funny, and I took a selfie with like the New York Comedy Club sign and put it on Instagram, and all my friends were like, oh my god, you performed in New York. And I was like, that's kind of cool. They thought I did, um, but, but I didn't. But then I told myself, you know, one day, Agatha, when you're ready, you're going to perform in New York. Like, you're going to do stand-up mm -hmm. in New York. So that's uh, that first uh, stand-up comedy that I saw and that decision, that was yesterday, and today I'm here, ready for. So that was my rush, rush, uh, rush decision. Um, but but I, I do take, uh, like, um, I do make a lot of other stupid decisions. Like at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, 2020, right before everything was locked down, I decided that's the moment to go to Jordan on my <laughs> solo trip. So I flew out to Jordan, me being blonde to Jordan, Arabic country, totally safe. People told me it's safe. To be fair, I was there four days and four times guys um, uh, wanted to kiss me or have sex with me and I politely said no and and it was okay, so I guess it was safe. Uh, but, <laughs> but what happened, uh, so I was in Petra. It was my big dream to see this, you know, ancient uh, wonder of the world. And I've been hiking for the whole day and I'm about to go home, but I have like one hour still to go home and they're about to close and there's this Bedouin guy on the donkey. And I go, <laughs> I go next to him and I was like, hey man, can I take a picture of you? Because you're so pretty. And he's like, yeah, can I kiss you? I was like, no. But I, I need to go home, it's like two hours and you have a donkey, can you give me a ride? Um, so I ended up uh, on a donkey ride in the middle of the night with a Bedouin listening to Eminem on his little <laughs> portable um, um, speaker. Uh, so that was, that was fun. And the next day his cousin decided to took me on a mule ride. He had a mule. Uh, and the mule was named Monica Lewinsky. So I was riding Monica Lewinsky. Um, and I thought that was funny, but maybe not. And so, yeah. So the third day, the, the best thing happened. I was in the desert, Wadi Ram Desert, and uh, this other Bedouin, everybody was gone, like there was no tourists, they all went home. Uh, this one uh, guy, uh, Bedouin guy, comes to me and he says, hey, so I'm a little worried because it's getting dark and it's raining, it was raining in the desert, and, and I lost my camels. Like, can you go and help me find my camels in the desert? And I was like, middle of night in the desert with a Bedouin that I don't know. Yeah, sure, let's go. Mm -hmm. We didn't find the camels, but we did find a cave. He was like, you want to go in the cave with me? I was like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> went to the cave, he made a fire, he sang me, sang me some Bedouin songs, and um, we, we smoked some hashish and drank something that he said was tequila, I don't think so. He got so <laughs> wasted um, that I had to drive him uh, home. Okay, that's it. Thank you, guys. Hey. All right, yeah, for Agatha.